SAP's user interface strategy is to deliver new applications, to renew existing applications, and to deliver tools to enable your own customized user interface on existing applications. In this presentation, I'd like to show you SAP Screen Personas. My name is Tom van der Broek. Let me show you SAP Screen Personas. This is a landing page that my colleague Tim Burghardt has created for the logistics department of a company. Here you have, for example, only the functionality that is required by this user group to create a standard order or to display a sales order or to enter your time. It is also possible to have some web links, for example, to a who's who repository or to some sales reports. But let's create the sales order that we want. Customer 16, demo cyber, material, one piece of that one. and process the sales order. Okay, everything is validated. And by the way, do you remember the old looking screens from SAP? They look like this. And now you can see the difference. A lot of information is, uh, a lot of information is delivered by SAP in several tabs, in several fields, and not all the information is relevant for this user group that we are aiming for. So we're minimizing the information that is delivered on our screen and also minimizing the amount of buttons or functionality that is not required by this user group. But let's go back to the screen that we have created in Screen Personas. Okay, let's save this sales order. And you can see that the order number 38 has been saved. Let's go back to the landing page. And again, I want to show you the Screen Personas landing page, but of course, there is still the standard landing page from SAP with all the functionality that is uh, delivered by SAP and that you are authorized to use for. I hope you can see the difference in the usability of the screen with SAP Screen Personas. So what is SAP Screen Personas? Let me address the benefits, the key capabilities, and how to get started with it. SAP Screen Personas is all about happy users. It's all about improving or the efficiency of an end user's process. It's improving the business user productivity. As, as I just shown you in the demo, you only show the relevant fields and tabs that are displayed on the screen. So that helps the screen flow that makes sure that you fulfill the business user's way of working in the process. It helps you to increase the user satisfaction. It simplifies the screens and it's even possible to automate some repetitive tasks. It helps you to reduce the implementation and the training costs. If you deliver simplified screens, the training costs will be less as everybody understands it much more faster than before. It also helps you in reducing the implementation costs because the change management costs will be less as everybody is going to accept the solution much more faster. So with an implementation, with the business users, you can easily implement their own basic screen modifications. So you also, during implementation, you already involve the business users. And the IT can implement more complex requirements and support a wider rollout of customized screens. Let me show you an example to with verifying a sales order. If you look at the standard SAP screens, you have data in tabs and you have seven clicks to reach the end result. If you use SAP screen personas, you have one clean branded screen, you only need one click and you have everything you need. Another example is to pay a vendor. Make your screen more intuitive. Without screen personas, you have a lot of fields, for in this example, 37 fields, and you have to remember all the fields, what they are used for. But with screen personas, you can just enter the fields that are required in this process for this end user group. Only four fields, it's much more intuitive to use. So what are the key capabilities with SAP screen personas? 
It's fast and cost-effective customization without any programming. You can customize the SSP screens in a what you see is what you get way with a web browser. And it allows you to add images for company branding, web content or shortcut buttons to start transactions. And it even, have, it even has scripting possibilities for advanced scenarios. Let me show you what is possible with scripting. Now for a second demo, I want to show you some scripting. Let's look at this button display latest sales order. It's not working yet, so I want to record an automated step behind that button to display my latest sales order. And to do so, to do so, I will start at the basic screen. I go over here at recording and I will record the transaction VA03 to display the latest sales order. Enter. And that's about the basic scripting that I want to have. So I will stop the recording. It will display me a pop-up. So demo VA03 which now will record the scripting steps I have taken and I can go back. Now I need to upload the script to my button so I go back to the screen that I have created, to the landing page and I need to take to create a copy to change this screen demo cyber and with that I make my personal flavor of the screen and double click on the button now I can select the file that I have just created demo. and here's the script that I have just recorded with screen personas and now you can see that the transaction will work save and exit click on the button and you can see that now the button has some functionality behind it to display the latest sales order. You can see that this screen is not modified by Screen Personas, it's still the standard screen. And to show you some basic SAP Screen Personas possibilities, I will create a copy of this screen as well to, or to create a flavor. Is it VA03? And now I can go ahead, I can display I can change colors, I can change buttons, I can remove buttons. Um, for example, the title bar, um, I want to change that, display standard order, and I want to change the color of it to something purple on the background, some white on the foreground, and I do not want to see this button bar, but but keep in mind, I want to go back in my transaction or I want to cancel my transaction. I want to have that possibility. But the remaining parts are not relevant for this end user. This bar is also not relevant. And the background of the screen should be white. There we go. And also some information that's on available at item level, we can put it on header level. Select the sales area, put it somewhere here, and I will position it better later on. And I can also get information from several tabs, for example, the item information. I can just pick it up and put it somewhere else. For sake of speed, I will not finish customizing the screen completely. I will show you the one that I have prepared before. And here we are back on the standard screen of the display sales order. And to show you what is possible, I go to my own flavor. And here you see that I have combined item information and header information and some part of the header information onto my own personal screen. Another option is to do some scripting behind the scenes. And to show you, I will go to the display until we are master and you all know that this transaction is usually having a lot of tabs a lot of fields to show you the material master not all fields are probably relevant to you so again what we did is to we have created a flavor on the mm03 transaction and if i now enter a material number over here i can get some material info 
on the same scheme without having to go to all the tabs or without having to select all the relevant tabs first. Let's change the material number. Give me some other information. What happens is that the scripting in back will the, retrieve all the information from the tabs that I have selected and present it to me on the first screen. So it's a lot of less clicks for the end user, um, a way to improve the efficiency in a workflow. Another option is to do some scripting in the background is to call a transaction that actually creates a document within the system. For example, the transaction to create a notification, the IW32 transaction, for example, I can create a call for the coffee machine which is not working. Coffee machine machine is leaking water. Now I can create a call. And what happens within the background, the script is called and the actual transaction is called with an SAP and it will give me back the information that it is succeeded. And you can see that the information that SAP is giving the notification has been saved. So, how to get started with SAP Screen Personas? Well, it is available as an add-on for ECC 6. Verify the requirements to see if it matches your own installation. And within Cyber, our approach is to first focus on the process, the process of the end user. That should be on number one. And we have this user-centered design approach to make sure that you fulfill the end user requirements. And then you can continue to the next step, which is the SAP Screen Personas Workshop, where you introduce the possibilities to the key users so that they can start building their own screens, their own flavors. And of course, there's an introduction to the admin about authorization and, out, and about to roll out the flavors to user groups. And then you can start with the implementation of the selected scenario. So in short, SAP Screen Personas delivers you happy users and lower costs. User, satis user satisfaction is increasing, business user productivity is increasing, but your training costs will be less and the cost of personalization will also be decreased. Thank you very much.